growing up, I felt it. We all have insecurities in life. When we look in the mirror, we feel, oh, I'm not as good as this guy. Yeah. Oh, I'm not good as this hero or that heroine. Oh, my friend wears good clothes. My friend's style is more good. And uh, mm-hmm. with me, there was one thing that happened me, with me one day that I was clicking pictures with a couple of fans and a couple of girls that were very pretty looking. And uh, there was one girl who was clicking uh, the pictures. And I said she was very beautiful and very stylish. But for some reason, she clicked everyone's pictures and uh, she kind of, her eyes were moist. But she never came and took a picture. And I asked her, what happened? You don't like me. Uh, I'm not a good actor. What, what happened? And her friends told me, no, she, you're her favorite. So I said, then. And they were like, she's feeling shy. So I said, don't feel shy. But she's like, no, no, no. And then very, in a very soft tone, she's like, no, I'm, I'm not, I don't look good. And I, that just, you know, hurt me so much because forget my fan. Anyone's fan, I don't think so. Any individual should feel like that. You know, that they are not good enough. They are not good enough to take a picture with me. I have to be good enough for them to feel like taking a picture with me. So the whole reason that they are doing something like that today is that to tell every girl out there, every individual out there actually, that their individual style is enough to take over the world. You know, and uh, this is this, any of the girls, if you can hear me behind, if any of them are eliminated today, this doesn't mean that it's the end of the road. It's the beginning of life. And I was just hanging backstage with, I have to just call her on stage. Anshala, she has to just say because, please can we have a round of applause for So she's worked very hard with all these girls and something she said because she has so much experience in life and she's worked with so many models and stuff like that. So when eliminations happen, what, I mean obviously everyone feels disappointed, but how should they feel? How should they take it? Well, I can only speak from a personal experience having joined a couple of contests years ago and I remember the time, it was a very big contest, I don't want to take the name, I had lost. And the next 10 days felt like, you know, life stops there. But on the 11th day, I woke up and said, it doesn't mean that if I, if I have lost this, it's, I'm not going to lose in life. And 25 years later, I'm still there rocking it. <laughs> so I really do not believe anybody or anyone can decide your own destiny. You decide your own destiny. Thank you. Well said. And she just told me that I think all the girls, if you all can hear me backstage, uh, they can hear me. So I'm going to be watching and we all are going to be watching. And for us, you all are winners that will have come out here and you all are doing this for us. And this is just to say that your individual style is bigger and better than any hero, any heroine who's on, uh, on celluloid or is in any other part of the world. And for me, all of you all are winners. And just thank you so much for doing this. is dashing and get. Please welcome Maya Gandhi. You've seen him on TV. He's also the winner of Split Villa. And we always say that a little luck doesn't work. And if you have work, if you want luck to work, you need to get ladies there. So we have uh, the next judges, which are designer sisters. They are Riddhi Siddhi and they have a brand that says Mubs and Cars. Let's welcome Riddhi Siddhi. Mr. Chavla and Mr. Kejriwal to kindly felicitate all our judges. May I please have the bouquets? <laughs> <laughs> 